morning guys, this is Marshall Kirby from Orchard Hill Farm Equipment. Today uh, I figured we'd do a new video just explaining compact tractor, different styles of transmissions inside these compact tractors here. Um, all these tractors lined up are uh, under 35, 35 horsepower under. Um, these three right here are all 26s and then the one on the end is a 35. So all, all well under the 40 horsepower mark and they're going to show you some different transmission options so when you're shopping around you know a uh, the different options different companies offer and b how to drive them how easy it is to drive all these and uh, c the price difference between all of them so these are two Mahindra 50 26s both 26 horsepower one is a shuttle shift and one is a hydrostatic um, hydrostatic is an automatic style transmission with a forward and reverse pedal as soon as you let off the pedal you will come to a stop or it will at least slow you down. Um, so there's no clutching necessary on a hydrostatic tractor, whereas a standard transmission or a shuttle, you will be clutching. So we'll start off with a hydrostatic in the Mahindra to show you that this is, uh, we'll start it up and go over the operation of this and then we'll move our way down. So as we come over here on this tractor, um, actually I'll move my leg here. So first right here, you got a low, a medium, and a high. Three different ranges, and this is a hydrostatic again. And we'll show you the shuttle shift in this exact same model in a minute. So we come up here, and on where my feet are, you got the forward pedal right here. So that would be driving forward. This is reverse. As soon as you let off, you see they come back to each other. And you can stop by pressing the brake quicker, but it's not always necessary. In a hydrostatic, you'll have options like a cruise control to lock down your pedal, say for brush hogging, so you don't have to hold your foot on the pedal all day long. Um, but in other applications, forward and reverse operation, you don't need a set of cruise control. So we'll just do a quick demonstration of this and then we'll go over the next Okay, so this is at an idle and medium gear here. easy to drive. Now we'll uh, do reverse, but I'm going to throttle it up a little. You'll notice after I revved it up, it definitely has more response. At the same time, that was in medium. We need to think about in a hydrostatic, uh, what is the true difference as far as power-wise? Hydrostatic usually takes away at least a half a horsepower to a horsepower on your rear PTO for running an implement, whereas a standard transmission will gain you that extra horsepower or whatnot. Um, so that was what we call a rocker pedal with the, the, the heel toe forward and reverse operation uh, in a hydrostatic. Next, we're gonna go to two gear drive transmissions and then we'll go to the last hydrostatic tra transmission. So as we come up on here, since it's the same model as I just drove, let's see the difference here. Instead of having three ranges, you have a low and a high right here, low and high. Okay, and so we'll put it in low. And then we have a one through four shifter here. Now, you do have to clutch with your foot to go through one through you know four if you wanna shift on the fly. Most people are picking one gear for an application, say uh, loader work, and say, let's say we want high second or low third, something like that. You're gonna be driving forward reverse you know just like that so we'll start this up and give you a quick demonstration of this just for a reference I'm gonna be in low gear we'll do uh, we'll do low third now this is at an idle low third and out of the clutch easy to drive my feet are out okay I want to stop clutch reverse let out easy to drive uh, you want to say go forward, but you want to shift to fourth gear. Watch, fourth gear. Very easy. You want to go with reverse in fourth gear. Very easy, easy to drive. You'll also notice on this tractor that on this tractor, I don't have to throttle it up right here, whereas the hydrostatic, you have to throttle up and throttle up. So, on the shuttle shift or a standard transmission, you got a little foot throttle here, which is a nice feature. It's going to give you more power when you're going into a pile of dirt at the last second when you need it. Um, 
but you can also set your RPMs and stay at your RPMs of say your uh, 2000 or 2500 RPMs if you're doing a certain job that you want that RPM. So that was that one. Um, next we're gonna go to a straight standard and show you what that's all about. So this is a Coyote here with a straight standard transmission. Um, difference on this one is the fact that there's no shuttle right here. We don't have a lever forward and reverse right here whereas the Mahindra had a shuttle. This is the same operation as clutching and gears go, but we have in this one, three ranges, low, medium, and high. And we have a one through three on the column here with a reverse as well. So to go from forward gears to reverse, it's just this, but you do have to, you know, say you're going in one, you gotta take it out, slide over, then reverse. Um, so we'll do that, uh, quick operation. I'll do in medium, let's try medium second for you guys. <laughs> intimidated by these standard transmissions but a lot of people don't understand you don't need a it's not like a car standard transmission where on a car we got to focus on clutching and letting the clutch out at the right time to catch it with your throttle now on a tractor it's not like a car you don't have to match the throttle to catch the clutch and stuff like that your first time driver most people are intimidated I get them out here in an open area like this so not worried about hitting something and I'll start it up for them tell them push in the clutch set it in gear the let out of the clutch they don't have to throttle or anything just let out and it slowly starts running um, you want to stop you'll clutch or brake or take it out of gear super simple to drive so don't always be intimidated by a standard transmission because comfortably between these two tractors the hydrostatic versus a standard or a shuttle there's a thousand dollar difference the hydro is always going to be about 800 to 1200 dollars more so you know an average of a thousand dollars difference between the same model two different transmissions now, this is a cab tractor, um, Coyote, what we call a CK3510 SE. The Coyote right here was a 2610, uh, just standard, tr standard equipment tractor with a standard transmission. Uh, and then those were 1526s, shuttle and HST. So 3510 SE is a hydrostatic in a 35 horsepower, a little bit more power, but this is what we call a uh, premium hydrostatic transmission. What that means is not that the transmission is more powerful or something like that premium means that it comes with things such as cruise control um, in a hydrostatic to lock down your pedal with maybe even an adjustment for cruise control speeds without a throttle um, just a button and the other thing that's a really nice feature on this is called linked pedal what that means is on a hydrostatic a normal hydrostatic tractor you have to throttle it with your hand up here on the throttle you don't have that foot throttle whereas the standard transmission you do so on a premium hydrostatic transmission tractor, a lot of them, or not all of them, but some of them out there on the marketplace will have what we call uh, a linked pedal that links your, your throttle on your dash to the forward and reverse pedals. So that's a nice feature. And we're gonna come around on the other side when I start this up and show you the pedal layout. This is also called a side-by-side -side hydrostatic, which is a nicer setup, some people would say, but both hydrostatic transmissions are very easy to drive. This one, instead of being a rocker with a forward and reverse on your heel and toe, this is more or less just using your toes and there's a forward pedal and a reverse pedal side by side. So we're gonna try it with the linked pedal on and with it off, just to give you a demonstration. And actually, I gotta go grab the key. Hold on, I set it in the cup holder over here. All right, sorry about that guys. So got this key, let's see on this 3510, on the glow plugs for a hair second here. On this side, we're gonna have a low, a medium, and a high in this hydrostatic. Um, and obviously you can't get in here, but there, the, the, the lever for the linked pedal to control this to that is over here, just it's an on off. It just links the linkage to that. Um, and some of the cruise control stuff is right here. So. Um, where it would set down the pedal. We'll, we'll do a test drive, cruise control driving forward, and also show you the linked pedal option. We'll try it in medium gear first. So, with the linked pedal, it's gonna be with the linked pedal on. And then I'll back up, and then I'll turn on cruise control driving forward.
transmission options. About the only transmission we didn't talk about today is going to be what's called a uh, power shuttle or a hydraulic shuttle. What that means is basically a, a standard transmission where you do not have to clutch to go forward to reverse, but to change gears you still would have to clutch. So that's not a common option on any tractor this size, although some models out there may offer it. Most companies do not until you get up to say 40, 50, 60 horsepower. So we're full Coyote dealer. We've been selling them for almost 30 years now. And uh, Mahindra's for 19, both very good products, six year warranty, seven year warranty. But that's not what I'm here for today. Today was just to give you a demonstration. When you guys go out looking, shopping for tractors, whether it's new, used or whatever it is, you know some different how different transmissions operate and maybe you were afraid of a standard transmission now before and maybe you aren't after this so i hope i was educating you guys a little bit on the differences um, leave some comments down below if you guys want to see other videos on certain stuff i know people wanted to see this video on some different transmission options so we're going to keep doing videos here as everybody loves them so uh we're located on route 9 in belchertown massachusetts my name is marshall kirby if I can help you out, shoot me an email at info at orchardhillsales.com or visit us on the web at, at www.orchardhillsales.com or give us a call at 413-253-5456. Thanks, guys.